Hariyum to all my viewers, I'm delighted to take you to the magical world of English language learning. In today's session, we are going to play a grammar game. Now, this game will help us recall, revise and understand thoroughly the simple past tense forms of verbs. We can have around 25 or more participants for this game. So, let's get going. Now, I shall begin the game by framing a sentence. So, listen to me very carefully. I baked a cake and ate it. Now, I put the past tense of eat, that is ate in capital letters, in order to draw your attention to the simple past tense form of eat. Moreover, I have used A to indicate that we shall follow the alphabetical order. Okay. So now the second participant will say a sentence with the same structure. That is, I baked a cake and instead of ate, we'll use a verb beginning with the letter B in the simple past. For example, the participant can say, I baked a cake and brought it. The participant can also say, I baked a cake and buried it or burnt it or brushed it aside and so on. The third participant will now say, I baked a cake and cut it or carried it to the garden or even crumpled it. The next participant can say, I baked a cake and decorated it or danced on it, danced with it or even danced with delight. Please note the usage of the right preposition, danced on, danced with. The fifth participant will now say, I baked a cake and encouraged it to learn English or enjoyed eating it, enjoyed sharing it with my friends and family members. Now at this stage, when most of the students have got a feel of the game, they would even start thinking about the verb they should use when their turn comes. There is a possibility that a child asks you this question. Ma'am, you said I baked a cake and ate it. So where is the cake now? What's the point in talking about it, ma'am? Perhaps you could tell this child, yes, I baked the cake and ate it. Fine. Now, I want each one of you to give me a sentence with the structure, I baked a cake plus the verb in the simple past. Right? So let's continue with the game. I baked a cake and felt happy or I baked a cake and finished it or frowned at it. Here again, please note the preposition at. Next we have, I baked a cake and simply gave it to my friend. I baked a cake and had it or held it or even hid it inside a big pumpkin. I baked a cake and iced it for the letter I. I baked a cake and jumped on it for J. The next child can say, I baked a cake and knelt before it using the past tense of kneel or kissed it. I baked a cake and kissed it. Then I baked a cake and loved it or licked it or even looked at it. With M we can say, I baked a cake and moved it. With N we can say, I baked a cake and nourished it or nursed it. I baked a cake and offered it or observed it for O. I baked a cake and protected it. I baked a cake and questioned it or quarreled with it. I baked a cake and removed it from the oven or ran away with it. I baked a cake and showed it to my friends. I baked a cake and traveled with it. I baked a cake and unveiled it as though you've covered it with a piece of cloth and so you've removed the cloth to unveil it. Moving on, we have, I baked a cake and vanished with it. I baked a cake and washed it. I baked a cake and x-rayed it. I baked a cake and yelled at it. And finally, I baked a cake and zipped it. Now, you might have noticed that some of these sentences have no logic. But our purpose is to make ourselves thorough with the past tense forms of the verbs while having loads and loads of fun. So before we wind up, here I have a list of verbs which you could use with in your game. So do try this game among yourselves and enjoy learning English. I hope this lesson on the simple past tense forms of verbs was indeed a cakewalk. Thank you very much. Happy learning. Keep smiling. Hadiyum.